Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be focused on your person's current energies towards you, what they're thinking, feeling about you, and what are their intentions or potential actions for the near future. Um, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out my playlist for Scorpio readings. It's linked in the description box. You can um, check that out and see if there's any other readings in there for you. All right, let's jump right into the reading. Spirit Angels. Guys. What messages, what guidance do you have regarding Scorpio's person? person that Scorpio is thinking about or connecting with at this time spirit what are their energies towards Scorpio at this time what are their energies towards Scorpio at this time the person that Scorpio is thinking about or connecting with the spirit what are their energies towards Scorpio at this time Okay, we have, wow, the tower. The tower, wow, okay. The magician. Oh my God, the wheel of fortune. Um, well, <laughs> whatever this person's energies are towards you, we're gonna dive into them in a second. They are huge. I mean, this is like life altering stuff here. The tower, the wheel, I mean, the tower by itself, it's already such a big disruptive energy. It's unexpected, it's sudden, it's, you know, unexpected events, revelations, something shocking. You know, the tower usually is disruptive on its own, but then you add the magician and the wheel of fortune, I mean... This is someone that I feel could be using a tower moment to their advantage or causing this tower on purpose. There's a purpose to what's happening here. So I need to really find out what the heck is going on here. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, the King of Pentacles tends to be someone who is very dedicated uh, serious. Um, they don't really like to take risks. Uh, they like to do things right and in the right time. They don't like to rush, etc, etc, etc. That's the King of Pentacles energy. For me as a reader, they tend to already be in some sort of a commitment or providing for others in some way. Um, they tend to be like leaders and things like that, business owners and entrepreneurs. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or someone that is kind of exhibiting these energies right now, which is they're going to be taking care of a situation or a person, or they're going to be addressing something in a very serious, mature way as the king of pentacles. So let's see what else we got. Spirit, can I get some more insight on the energies that this person is bringing to this connection with Scorpio? Tell us more about the energies this person is bringing to this connection with Scorpio. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Okay, so this is someone, again, someone that has a plan. Someone that's manifesting abundance taking their time to grow something, to create something. Second chances, wow. A second chance at abundance. Resurrecting something, growing something again. Manifesting something again. I mean, when I look at all these energies together, whatever this is that's happening for you, Scorpio, with this person, it's like life altering, you know, this is big, powerful energy. I can't wait to clarify these. Okay, tell me more. One more, please. Oh, one more, please. That was a sloppy shuffle. What do we need to know about the energies? This person is 
change unhealthy attachment so there could be a situation that this person currently finds themselves with maybe there was an unhealthy dynamic to the connection that you already had with this person in the past maybe there's a situation that your person is trying to move away from we'll see I feel like this person wants a second chance with you or a second chance at having a successful partnership. I don't know if you have a history with this person yet or what's going on. So let me just get a little bit more insight here and then we'll jump to clarifying these energies. Tell me more for Scorpio and this person's connection. What do we need to know? about the connection between Scorpio and this person. Okay, we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. What else do we need to know about this connection between, okay, what's going on with this deck? What do we need to know? unrequited love interesting I feel like okay when I see like flirt with unrequited love I get that there was some misunderstanding um, so for example I'm seeing a few different things maybe when you and this person got together Scorpio you had a different idea of what kind of connection you wanted with them maybe you wanted to give more to this connection than they were able to give to this connection Maybe you wanted to have something more long-term, more committed, but they were wanting something more lighthearted. I'm also getting, for some of you Scorpios, um, I feel like you have no idea that your person is thinking about your connection in this way. I'm getting like misunderstand. That's like the main energy I'm getting here. Like someone does not know something or did not understand something like there was an there was a um an imbalance what is going on <laughs> let's clarify and see what other energies we can get here i want to use a different deck i'll use this one can i get some more guidance please for scorpio okay, let's Okay. Tell me more about this tower. Oh my goodness. Tell me more about the tower spirit. What do we need to know about this tower energy? Knight of Swords. Communication. Truth. Sudden communication with the Knight of Swords. What else do we need to know about the tower? What else do we need to know about the tower? There's a tower here for Scorpio. Wow, Eight of Wands. There's definitely something here to do with communication. A message, a text, a DM, whatever. And I think it's going to be unexpected with the tower. Or it'll cause a tower. Two of coin at the bottom of the deck, six of swords, four of cups. You know, this person, I think that they're wondering what the response will be. Why would they wonder about the response? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, interesting. Okay, so with Queen of Wands and then the Two of Pentacles here with the Six of Swords, I almost get like this person thinks it can go either way. Okay, another thing that I'm picking up here with flirt and unrequited love and just messages that are coming to me, I feel like this person does not want to be misunderstood. Um maybe in their mind they want to be serious about this but you wouldn't take them seriously i feel like you would misinterpret them but i don't understand why or they think that you're not going to take them seriously they're going to it's almost like they're they're thinking well if i come to scorpio and i talk to them they're going to think i'm just playing around or they're going to think that i'm not being serious about my intentions or 
I'm, you know, they're not going to understand where I'm coming from. But I don't know why this is. I feel like some of you are also dealing with an individual where in the past you were like friends with benefits or you weren't really a con like a committed connection. Like they weren't, you weren't committed to each other. It was more casual. But I feel like that's, this is different. I feel like this energy is different. Okay, tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? For Scorpio. Why is the magician here? Wow, Ten of Cups. This person wants it all. Talk about bountiful harvest. Like this is someone that wants a happy ending, wants it all. It's like they're manifesting this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about the magician. Tell me more about the magician. What's this magician doing here? The Six of Wands, are you kidding me? Yeah, this person wants it all. Success, victory, happy endings. They're motivated by this. And these are not little energies. Tell me about the wheel. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh my gosh. Are you looking at that? That's the tower again. I'm telling you the wheel and this tower are connected. There's some, there's a major, there's something huge. I mean, it's crazy. I'm glad I used a different deck. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. If the wheel of fortune comes out, I just might like faint. I don't know. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Why is the wheel of fortune here? The Wheel of Fortune is a card about things happening at, oh my God. <laughs> Death? Showing up with the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune? Scorpio, there you are, by the way, your energy. So when, I mean, really, let's interpret these cards together. The Wheel of Fortune, momentum, changes that happen as if by magic, serendipity, divine timing, um, events that happen that you know, it's like you're very fortunate or fate has set you on a lucky path, lucky break. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Tower. Unexpected events. Things that happen that are very shocking, that a tower comes down due to a revelation a re revelation or realization. Um, truth revealed, um, something that brings some, like a foundation down. Something that was crumbling is now completely like shattered or done or you know changed and then death endings endings for new beginnings changes transformation so all of these energies together there is no going back this is like a complete turnaround complete change something like a drastic change and i don't know what in the world is happening here but i ha look at all these energies together Am I going to have enough time? I feel like this reading is going to be a crazy reading. I need to know more. I know this. Okay. So, and also keep in mind, we already clarified the tower here, which is some sort of communication or truth. So I feel this tower is tied to some, this communication or truth and it'll change things forever. Basically. It's like a, a, a truth or a message or a conversation that changes everything. And I'm not just saying that just to say that. Like, that's what the energies are here on the board. Let's, let's clarify this Knight of Swords and Eight of Wands. Tell me about, more about, let's find out what we can about this message. What, what can you tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands? Now, keep in mind, the tarot is, there's only so much specifics you can get with the tarot, right? There's no card here that's going to say, you know, Scorpio, I'm so sorry for that one thing I told you five years ago on the 8th of June at 5 p.m. when it was raining outside. You, there's, n it's the, the message is not going to be that specific, right? It's There's no way to really clarify this message and tell you exactly what would 
uh, I guess, resonate with a specific situation, right? Because this is a reading for a collective. I am reading for multiple Scorpios. But maybe we can get a little insight into what the message is generally about. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. There's no tarot card for I'm moving back in or I left my ex-wife or, you know, it's, just keep that in mind. Sometimes I get some comments and it's like, do people even know about tarot? Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Okay, Knight of Coins. So some sort of proposition. Again, Knight of Pentacles is very slow. Um, it's an opportunity that takes time to develop. Um, but it's it's definitely something with potential for more. And then we have the Devil, Capricorn energy. There's the unhealthy attachment energy that showed up here. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like someone's going to talk to you about whatever this unhealthy attachment habit unhealthy situation they found themselves in it's like they want to tell you about maybe they left this behind maybe they're no longer dealing with this um devil energy maybe they are making you know strides to have some sort of freedom from that or they've changed let me get one more can i get one more for the knight of swords and the eight of wands Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. What do we need to know? This one. Oh my gosh, the world. Yeah, let's start over. Let's have a new beginning. I also feel like this person could be telling you something has ended and now I can begin with the world, you know? Cycles ending, cycles beginning. So I think this conversation, that's why it's so important to have it. Tell me about the Tower and Death. Tell me about the tower and death. What do we need to know about the tower and death? Wow, six of cups. This could be a soulmate coming back, Scorpio. This could be uh, something from the past that has ended or changed forever. Tell me about the tower and death. Wow, the empress and the page of swords. There's definitely something here with communication. And then this empress energy, I think it symbolizes... I mean, this could be a divine counterpart that someone's thinking about, someone that has a lot of value, a lot of worth. But I also feel like this is a symbol for growth, abundance. Start, you know, it's like whoever this is that wants to talk to you and tell you what's been going on. Again, it's for it's, it's like with a purpose in mind. Like they don't just want to talk to you and leave it at that. I feel like they want to talk to you and then have something come from that. Okay, I'm just going to... Can I get some more insight, please, on this person's energies towards Scorpio? Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Can I have some insight, please, on this person's energies towards Scorpio? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energy? I'll be messaging you. I mean, there it is. Expect a message, Scorpio. I would take it all back if I could. This could be somebody from the past, someone coming back in. I have a choice to make at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's energies? I hope that you can forgive me one day. So I feel like this is someone that you already know, Scorpio. There's a history here. It doesn't really, I don't think that history is as important as what is going to happen in the future. Because this is about a change happening, a complete shift happening in this connection. Things being different, things starting over. Um, I feel like this person maybe will apologize. You know, I hope that you can forgive me. Um, but then the more important conversation will be what will happen now? Will you forgive me and move on with your life, Scorpio? Or will you forgive me and go down this journey with me again? Let me know what you would do, Scorpio, in the comments. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. <sighs> yeah, this person's coming in with a plan. Whoever this is, they... 
they are coming in with a goal the magician the wheel of fortune the tower this tower is happening for a reason i feel like this person is coming in to message you to tell you something that will have the potential to change your entire connection in the future bottom of the deck you are the only person for me let's quickly get some um, messages out here for what their intentions are for the near future what are this person's intentions for the near future with Scorpio Spirit. what are their intentions what are their intentions for the near future what do we need to know for Scorpio what are their intentions what are their intentions for the near future what are their intentions for the near future I might not have time to clarify these let's see king of pentacles justice libra energy and the fool okay i feel like this is enough for me to kind of understand because i feel like we're just getting confirmation on what we've already seen first of all the king of pentacles is here he's already shown up i've already told you their way of dealing with any pretty much anything the king of pentacles is very uh, measured they are mature they take their time they do things right the first time justice is definitely someone that um is objective fair fair to you uh balance they, they they like to have things be you know it's like feelings are not as important as doing the right thing with justice and then the fool is all about taking a risk a leap of faith into having a new beginning freedom tell me about the fool maybe i can clarify some of these really quickly tell me about the fool why is the fool here the five of cups regrets disappointments tell me about the fool i think this is someone coming in from the past that wants to kind of renew things have a second chance tell me about the fool yeah page of pentacles king of wands whoever this is they're motivated once again this person is not someone that comes in and like doesn't follow through this is definitely someone that if they're going to call you or message you or talk to you there is there's a very thoughtful i don't know it's like it's like there's a thoughtful energy behind it you know it's not like they just send that text and then if you don't message them whatever no no big deal that text has a purpose so it's not going to be a hi <laughs> you know what i mean tell me about the justice energy why is justice here why is justice here six of wands i'm telling you success victory is paramount for this person they need to be successful this has to work out it's, it's almost like they need to make things right there's no other option queen of swords yeah it's with a conversation this there's something here about a conversation that i don't know it's it's going to be kind of uh crazy this conversation and the hangman i think they're gonna um i think they're gonna take their time before they tell you this because once again it's going to be like a bomb whatever they tell you it's going to have repercussions it's like i said it's not a high message it's not a how are you scorpio page of cups at the bottom of the deck four of wands after that yeah it's not just forgive me but forgive me and you know let's move forward together that kind of energy and of course there's way more that goes into this that i feel like i feel like if i kept clarifying I, the message would just repeat so i'm not gonna do that but i can tell you that the energy is very focused whoever this is they've thought about this for a while they've probably been in an unhealthy attachment they've probably dealt with a tower on their own uh, but now talking to you again messaging you telling you their point of view um telling you whatever this opportunity is or whatever happened with an unhealthy situation this is there's like a bomb here that changes everything for you guys for you and this person i think them telling you that they want a second chance after being free of a situation would shock you i don't know why but it would i don't think you're expecting that from them at all 
So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more content from me. Thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.